Hello everyone. Today we are going to see your unit number two. In that we are going to see the data aggregation. Okay. In that we first we are going to see the measure of central tendency. Okay. What do you mean by measure of central tendency? In that we are going to see we are going to find these three terms. That is mean, median, and mood. Okay. Your measure of central tendency means what? It is going to represent the distribution with the one number. Okay. That one number can be a mean. Median or mood, okay. Mean means what your average. Median means what it is a middlemost value of the distribution, and mood means what it is a highly occurred data item in your distribution. Okay. So today we are going to see what do you mean by arithmetic mean. Okay. So these are the some good requisites for your good average. Okay. Average means what your mean. Okay. So your mean should be easy to understand. It is simple to compute. It should be based on all the items. Okay. It should not be unduly affected by the extreme items. It should be rigidly defined. It should be capable to further algebraic treatments. It should have sampling stability. So first, we are going to see how to find arithmetic mean. This arithmetic mean is for what? Individual observation, or you can say raw data. Okay, now your arithmetic mean is what? It is the value obtained by adding all the values of the observation and then dividing the sum by the total number of observation. Okay, so these are the steps to find your arithmetic mean. Your arithmetic mean is denoted by x bar. Okay, so first step is what? What we going to do? We going to add all the values of the variable x and find the summation of x. Okay. Second step is what we're going to divide that summation of x by the number of observation. That is what your n. Okay. So the following is your formula to find your arithmetic mean. So x bar is equals to x one plus x two plus x three till x n divided by n, or x bar is equals to summation of x divided by n, where your x bar is what mean. Summation of x is what the sum of variables and n is what the number of observations. After that, so we're going to take one example. Okay, so this is your example. So the following table gives the marks obtained in a statistics of ten student of B Com class in the college. Okay, so you have two rows. For first is what your roll number and the marks. Okay, so how many student marks are there? There are Ten student marks. Okay, so your capital N will be what? Ten, because there are ten observation available. Okay, so for example, first roll number one got sixty seven marks. Roll number two got sixty nine marks. Roll number three got sixty six marks. Okay, the value is not containing any value. It is not in a continuous way. So this type of data is called as what? Your individual data. Okay, so. As per the steps, what is the first step? We are going to find the summation of x. So we can consider this and uh, marks as what x variable. Okay. So we are going to find what the summation of this column. Okay. So the summation of this column is what six ninety. So first we are going to write our formula. That is what x bar is equals to summation x divided by n. Okay, so x bar is equals to what is the summation of x? It is what six ninety. So we're going to write for six ninety. And what do you mean by n? It is the total number of observation. The data is available for ten students. So we're going to write ten. Okay, so zero zero will get cancelled. So your x bar is equals to what sixty nine. This is an example for an individual series. Okay, so next again you have this question. Okay. Again, this data is what individual data. Okay. So, again, what we going to write? How many data is presented? So, your n will be what? Ten, because ten observations are available. We going to find. You can consider this mask as what x. So, first step is what to find the summation of x. Summation of x means what? We going to add whole column. Okay. So, the summation of x is what five. Fifty, sorry, five hundred forty. Okay, so again we're going to write the formula. We're going to put all the values. That is five forty divided by ten. So the total mean is what? Fifty four marks. Okay. 
then we going to find the arithmetic mean for what discrete series okay the formula is bit same but a minor difference is there okay so the first step is what multiply each size of item by its frequency what we going to do we going to multiply each item by its frequency then we going to add this column after adding all the fx you will find what summation of fx then we going to divide this summation of fx by the total number of frequency where your n is equals to what summation of frequency okay your n is equals to what summation of frequency so x bar is equals to this is the formula for your arithmetic mean for a discrete series x bar is equals to summation of fx divided by n okay where your summation of fx is what the sum of the product of x and f x bar is your mean and n is what total number of items means what summation of frequency so this is the example okay so this is what your discrete data okay you have two columns like values and the frequency means that you can read this data as what the value one repeating how many times 21 time okay or you can say the frequency for one is what 21 the frequency for two is what 30 for, for frequency uh, for three it is 28 so you can consider this value as x and the frequency as what f okay so we are going to write a table so we put all the values into the table values and the frequencies okay now as per the steps first what we are going to do first we are going to find the product of your fx and then we are going to sum that product okay so 1 into 21 it is what 21 after that this 2 into 30 2 into 30 is equals to what 60 then 3 into 28 uh, 84 4 into 40 160 5 into 26 130 6 into 34 204 likewise we are going to find the product of this x column and the f column okay after finding out the product what we going to do we going to add this column we going to add this column so the addition of this column is what 1716 okay then we going to write the formula this is your formula for arithmetic mean for a discrete series x bar is equals to summation of fx divided by n okay so the addition of this column is what 1716 divided by n as i told you your n is what the summation of frequency this data is what discrete that's why your n is what summation of frequency so the summation of this frequency column is what 300 we are not going to consider n as what 10 okay there are 10 observations are there still we are going to consider that n as what summation of frequency so we are going to add the frequency column and you will get addition as a 300 so we are going to write n as what 300 so after the calculation you will get final output as what 5.72 okay then we have the next question again this data is for your discrete series okay so the following data related to distance traveled by the 520 villagers to buy their weekly requirements okay so uh, the data given is what mile traveled so you can consider this as what x okay then the number of villagers can be considered as a frequency means what to uh, suppose a uh, one villager 380 uh, sorry 38 villagers travel 2 kilometer for the their daily requirements 104 uh, villagers uh, traveled 4 uh, kilometer for the their daily requirements you can read this data like this we need to find what arithmetic average you can say okay so average means what your mean only okay so again we're going to put our table okay your mile traveled can be considered as x and the number of villagers can be considered as your frequency so we're going to put all the values into under x and f and after that we're going to find what fx that is a product of your f and x okay so 2 into 38 is it is what 76 4 into 104 is what 416 
then your 6 into 104 is what 840 8 into uh, 78 is what 624 likewise we are going to find the product of your x and f after that we are going to add this column after the addition you will get answer as what 4044 okay and then as for the discrete data your n is what the summation of frequency so that's why we found what what the summation of frequency that is 520 again we are going to put the formula your formula is what sum x bar is equals to summation of fx divided by n okay so your summation of fx is what 4044 divided by 520 because there are 520 villages right okay after the calculation you will get answer as what 7.776 okay then we have a arithmetic mean for a continuous series okay now in a continuous series your data is represented in a continuous series for example in a classes uh, like 0 to 10 10 to 20 or you can say 0 to 9 uh, 10 to 19 likewise and the frequency will be given okay so for the continuous series your first step is what find the mid value okay we are going to find the mid value of each group or a class. Okay. This consider this can be considered as what? Group or a class. We are going to find the mid point for each class. Okay. The mid value obtained by the adding lower limit uh, and the upper limit of the class and dividing the total uh, number of uh, dividing the total by 2. After that, we are going to multiply that mid value with the frequency of the class. Okay. So, you will get the column as what? Fm. Okay. So, where your m is what? The mid value. F is what? The frequency. Then, we are going to add this product. Okay. And then, you can represent that term as a summation of Fm. Okay. Then, we are going to divide this summation of Fm by n. Again, where n is what? Summation of frequency make a point for individual data your n will be what total number of observation for a discrete series and the continuous series n will be what summation of frequency then we're going to apply the formula this is a formula for a continuous series x bar is equals to summation fm divided by n okay so we will say one example based on this so this is the example from the following find out the mean profit okay so the profit are given uh, in the classes okay and you have a number of shops you can consider this as a what frequency okay so the profit for the shops are like 100 to 200 200 to 300 300 to 400 likewise we have the classes and the frequencies respective frequencies of that classes okay so first step is what we're going to find the midpoint now how to find midpoint we're going to add the lower class limit. Suppose the first class is what? 100 to 200. So first we're going to add the lower class limit plus upper class limit divided by what? 2. So the addition of 100 and 200 is 300. 300 by 2 it is what? 150. So the midpoint is what? Mid, uh, 150. Again, you're going to find the midpoint for the next class. That is what suppose 200 plus 300 divided by 2. So, it is what your 500, 500 by 2. It is what? 250. Okay. Likewise, you're going to find the values for all the classes. Okay. Midpoint for the all the classes. After that, what we're going to write? The number of shop. That is what your frequency. Okay. The next step is what? Find the product of this F and M. Midpoint and F. So, 150 into 10, 1500. 0, 0. 250 into 18, it is 4500. 0, 0. 350 into 20, it is 7000. 450 into 26, it is 11700. 0, 0. Okay. Likewise, we are going to find the product of FM. Okay, after finding out the product, you are going to write the summation of this column. So, the summation of this column is what? 27, sorry, 72,900. Okay, and the summation of frequency is what? 150. <coughs> so, we are going to write the formula. So, this is your formula summation of F divided by N. 
ओके सो द समेशन ऑफ एफ एम इज वॉट सेवन टू नाइन जीरो जीरो डिवाइड बाई वन फिफ्टी आफ्टर द कैलकुलेशन यूल गेट टू द वैल्यू एज वॉट फोर एट सिक्स द सो द एवरेज प्रॉफिट फॉर द दिस क्वेश्चन विल बी वॉट फोर हंड्रेड एटी सिक्स 